Hi, if this is your first time here, welcome to my YouTube channel. But if you're like me and you've been here before, welcome back. I'm Chaotic Curl and today I'm actually going to be crocheting a dress for the first time. Now, I know it's been a while since I've been on this channel and actually the last thing I made, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was a Pokeball. But I have been crocheting things, it's just been, you know, here and there and you know with everything that's been going on I haven't really had a chance to pick up the camera but today since I've been dying to make a dress for the longest I decided now was the time now <laughs> as I am known to do I actually did start crocheting before I started recording so I do have a good portion of the well I have the top done I don't have the whole thing done so far this is what it is looking like Um, this is the top, obviously the front, <laughs> it's going to be backless and then with straps where I'm starting the skirt here. So it's going to be backless, open back, I'm hoping to have a tie in the back and then the skirt would basically come down until it comes together and then it would just be a skirt. I'm thinking of making a mini dress since I don't really have that much yarn. but. I'm hoping it all goes well and I'm at least able to make it to a, a length that I can actually wear it <laughs> without having to get any new yarn. But the yarn that I am using is this one by Circulo. Circulo. It's called Natural Cotton Maxi Color. And yeah, it's in this very nice beige color. You know me, I like my neutral, so we're keeping it neutral. And the hook that I'm using is this one now if you know and you know this is the Tunisian crochet mesh stitch and this is actually knitting but the skirt will be crochet so this is gonna be a very mixed mixed method I guess project since it has Tunisian crochet knitting and actual crochet but I'm using a five millimeter hook to crochet the skirt so yeah I'm just gonna keep crocheting and I hope you guys enjoy the show. So, as you can see, it's just a little bit of what I'm doing here. I'm, I'm actually doing the V stitch, where I'm doing two double crochets in each stitch with a chain in the middle. But I'm not skipping any of the stitches so that the skirt starts off, or so that it has at least a little bit of a ruffle to it. But we'll see how it goes, and I'll see if I have to adjust anything as I go. Um, I'm going to come back every couple of rows just to show the progress of what's been happening in the skirt or yeah what's happening in the skirt of the dress and hopefully i'll get this done soon but stay tuned for a, a couple more clips of my first crochet dress i'm so excited thinking of doing is I'm going to undo everything and I'm gonna make it a little bit more bodycon just because I'm not really liking the thickness of the yarn and how it's looking with with the ruffle it's gonna be a lot uh, so I will I do want to still make a dress this way with you know a fluffy a ruffly skirt but I'm not gonna be doing it with this yarn so I'm gonna undo what I've done I'm gonna rethink, <laughs> regroup, and I'm gonna try it again. 
but yeah, I think it's looking super cute, the ruffles anyway. So I definitely do like the way the top looks. I like the way the ruffle looks. I just, just not with this yarn. So I guess in the next clip, you're gonna see me frogging the project. And then when I'm ready to come back, I'll come back and show you guys what I've got going on or I'll let you guys in on the plan. So, see you then. Okay, so here is my brown shirt on a brown couch. I hope you can see it. No, I'm just kidding. This is the top, like I said, I frogged or I undid the ruffle that I had and I redid it. I'm using the V-stitch so you can see my little V's or I guess A's since they're upside down. My little V's here and I'm four rows in and I'll crochet the fifth row and I'm actually just going to keep crocheting until I get it down, well until I get it up to um, 38 inches which should be enough for me to join the two pieces in the back and if all goes well it's going to be a pretty good V in the back but the plan is to keep going until I get to 38 inches which then I'll um, join the two sides and continue crocheting if hopefully I have enough yarn to get to it but continue crocheting until I finish the skirt so yeah that's just that's the plan for today or the plan for this project Okay, so I'm just checking in for, well, I'm doing my last check-in for today. As you can see, I did a few more rows, so I'm now at 10 rows. This is four inches long, which I'm trying to get to 12 inches, so still got a few more inches to, eight, at least eight inches to go. And it's 24 inches long, which I'm trying to get to 38 inches, so hopefully with the way that I'm increasing, it's gonna go well but this is what it's looking like so far and yeah so far so good i've only actually used one of the two balls of yarn you see there's one of the two balls that came out from the ruffle that i undid so i've still got a pretty good amount of yarn left hopefully it'll be enough to finish it or at least finish the top portion so that i can get another ball and work on the skirt but for right now this is where i am and um yeah i'll check back in when i'm a little farther ahead so that we can see what's going on okay so here it is i'm 13 rows in i just finished the first ball that i got from that big ruffle that we started with so i'm getting ready to start on the second ball but here we are 13 rows it's working pretty good down i'll show you right now what it's looking like but so far, so good. Here it is on. So far, so good. And I'm getting close to 
to meeting at the back, so I'm excited. It's going pretty good. It's going well. I'm gonna continue, add that second ball, and just keep crocheting. So for this clip, I'm just showing how I was able to crochet out to 32 inches, if I'm not mistaken, instead of 38 because it was going to be a little too wide, but in the end, 32 inches actually ended up being a little too wide as well, but you'll see that now. So, I have an update. Like you saw in the last, well, in the clips before, before, um, I reached the length where the two back pieces of the dress touch, but it's a little bit too open in the back now when they touch. So the dress actually fits really well, obviously. It's backless, so I don't have to worry too much about, you know, I don't really have to worry too much about fit but it does fit very well in the part that is connected. I just need to make it a little shorter. So as I hope you noticed in the last clip that you just saw before now, I put safety pins. And so what I'm going to do is actually undo the rows that are past the safety pins. And then I'm going to make a chain across. And yeah, basically just connect it from there and start crocheting from there. So. Right now, it's been a lot of doing and undoing, but that's the plan. We're almost done. I almost have a crochet dress. I'm super excited with the way it's looking. I love the little V-stitches over my stomach. So let's get this, let's get this skirt part fixed so that I can actually wear this dress or I can feel comfortable wearing the dress anyway. But that's what we're doing now. So let's do that. Okay, so as you can see the project is a little shorter now like I needed it to be I undid 10 rows So we have 10 rows left the project is now 26 inches long So what I need to do is actually make a chain so that I can connect both ends which should be about a 7 inch chain So I'll connect both ends and then from there. I'll be able to continue crocheting to finish the skirt Okay, so here we are. Like I said, I chained the chain <laughs> and because I kept thinking about it and I really do want to do the mesh in the front, I actually measured behind me or measured my behind to see how many inches it would be. So I've marked those inches off. This section here between the safety pins is going to be solid double crochet 
and then everything else will be my little V stitches. So let's see how this goes. <laughs> So this is the final try on. Of course, I'm done now with the mesh. As you can see, it's solid to cover my behind and then mesh in the front. So what I'm gonna do now is just continue um, double crocheting all the way across, no more V-stitch, because then some sensitive things will be revealed. So <laughs> I'll just keep double crocheting down until I, until I finish the skirt. So yeah, this is what it's looking like. Like I said, I undid those stitch, the, those rows and I did the chain. So I'm double crochet, my V stitch in the front. We're ready to go. Just a few more inches and I should be done. One more thing, the circumference of this portion of the skirt is, if I'm not mistaken, if I measured it right, it should be between 37 and 39 inches around. So I should be good with getting it on and off <laughs> over my head. Not so much stepping into it, but so far so good. So I'm gonna continue. Okay, so here is the dress so far. Like I said, I started the double crochet in the front to cover her up and keep going with that skirt. But this is what it's looking like right now. That's the front. And then of course, we have the open back with our straps. I'm gonna show it to you on now. Okay, so here it is. I officially ran out of yarn in my yarn ball. So this is as far as I was able to take the dress. It is finished. I didn't use this yarn for any other project except for this one. So the entire, I think it was 475 meters are here. I'm going to try it on just so we can see how far I was able to crochet. but. Honestly, I didn't finish the dress. I still need to get another ball of yarn to be able to finish the skirt. But here's what it looks like on. Okay. Well, you saw what it looked like. The skirt still needs a few more inches for me to be able to wear it outside although everything that needs to be covered is pretty much covered um, what I'm gonna do is actually get more yarn so there will be a part two to this video because I have to finish the dress <laughs> at this point I want to see what it looks like when it's done but for right now it's pretty much done that one ball was 475 yards and it almost made a full mini dress so I'm definitely going to get one of those balls of yarn again to try for another project. Maybe I'll try and make a, a cardigan or a top or maybe some shorts. I don't know. But I'll definitely try and get another ball of yarn in another color to try it again. But I am going to get it in the same color as well to finish this dress. So <laughs> thank you so much for joining me today and I hope you enjoyed crocheting along with me, making your own things, whatever it is that you made. Please. Join me on my Instagram. I am at Chaotic Curl Crafts on Instagram. And of course, here on YouTube, I will try my best to post more videos more frequently. But as of right now, I'm doing the best I can with the time I have and with the materials I have as well. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe so you can come back and turn your notifications on. Bye.